Hey bees, I'm Marie from Humble Bee and Me, and today we are continuing our forest themed facial products blog series with a forest facial lotion. I've worked to keep this formula quite light, so it does have a slightly smaller oil phase than some of my other recipes. And so for our oils, we're using evening primrose oil, which is an oil that I love, but it is quite heavy. So it's nice to use it in a lotion where the inclusion of other ingredients, predominantly water, helps it be much lighter. So you can really enjoy having it on your skin instead of thinking, you know, being preoccupied with sort of how heavy it is. And then I've countered that with mango butter, which is really nice and light, and subtle alcohol, which is gorgeously, gorgeously silky. Our water phase has lots of goodies in it particularly humectants. So we've got some glycerin, some sodium lactate, we've got some panthenol, also known as vitamin B5. There's lots and lots of awesome for your face goodies in the water part. Now I say this at the end of every video, but I think a lot of people skip the end because <laughs> I put a bunch of information about substitutions and alternatives in the written blog post. This video comes with an accompanying blog post that comes out at the same time that is this recipe in written form. And in writing, it is so much easier to communicate information about substitutions because it's much easier to refer back to. And so please, if you don't have some of the ingredients that I'm using, go read the blog post, go look for that big long bulleted list at the end of the recipe that says, you know, if this, then that, or sorry, you're out of luck. This is a required ingredient because it's, uh, yeah, you'll get an answer from that blog post way, way, way faster than if you uh, leave a comment to ask me, which would probably take like at least a week or two to get back. I, I will get back to you, but I'm probably gonna get back to you and be like, hey, go read the blog post. So uh, it's much, much faster if you just go there. And I also have the links to where to buy the ingredients. And then if that link doesn't work for you because you don't live in uh, the States or in Canada, I have a really big list of places on the website to shop all over the world that I've been compiling from readers uh, for several years now, so it's a great resource. So please go check out the written blog post if you have any other questions, because it's all written out there for you so you don't have to like, try to like rewind back and forth in the video and be like, where did she say that? The process for this lotion is pretty much identical to the process for pretty much every other lotion where we have oil part, water part, sort of heat them in a water bath and then combine them and then blend the ever living daylights out of them with a stick blender and then you know, sort of cool, blend, cool, blend, and then we'll add our essential oils and our preservative and we'll pop it in a jar. And I'm using this very cute, hopefully it shows up well, because I mean, this is a lot of white going on here. Oh, it's, yes. Um, <laughs> it's basically a white lush jar. Uh, and this is from Ivan over at Yellow Bee who hooked me up with an amazing goodie bag of uh, beautiful packages and some gorgeous new micas that they've started carrying. But Yellow Bee is an online packaging distributor based here in Calgary and they sell online. Um, but they are the only place I've ever found these tubs and I love them. They come in a, a 50, um, a 100, this is the 100, and then they have a 250 as well, uh, milliliters, and they've got nice screw tops. I find that these are some of the only jars that you know you get really beautifully clean by actually just sending through the dishwasher, which is really nice. So they're easier to reuse than a lot of things, especially pump top bottles. Uh, yeah, highly recommended. These things are the bomb, and I know a lot of people love the way they look because of the sort of lush brand association. But yeah, <laughs> let's go make some lotion. We'll begin with our water phase. So in here, we have 79 grams of distilled water, and we're going to add one gram of vegetable glycerin, one gram of sodium lactate, two grams of panthenol, half a gram of 200 times concentrated aloe vera powder, and one gram of hydrolyzed silk. Up next is our oil phase. So we have four grams of polo wax, eight grams of evening primrose oil, four grams of mango butter, three grams of cetyl alcohol, three grams of penstea powder, and 0.1 gram of vitamin E. Now we're going to grab our two phases. So we have our oil phase here and our water phase. And I'm going to go heat them through. So this is just a wide flat bottom saute pan that has about an inch or three centimeters of water in the bottom of it. And I'm going to go put this on the stovetop over medium heat for about half an hour to melt everything through and make sure everything is nice and hot at exactly the same temperature, which of course is easy to do because they're sitting in the same water bath. All right, everything is melted through. You can see the water phase is, everything is dissolved. Now, the oil phase is a little cloudy looking and that's because of the penstea powder, which is not oil soluble, but can be added to either phase. So that's what's giving it this cloudy look. So we're gonna add our water phase to our oil phase. 
and we're gonna start blending. And so you definitely wanna use an immersion blender with this one. Even if you didn't need to for any other reason, you need it to break up the clumps of the Penstia powder. So I'm gonna start with a few short bursts and work our way up. Okay, so it's been about three minutes. And we're just gonna leave this to cool so that we can come back and blend it some more. So I'll see you in about 10 minutes. Okay, so this is starting to thicken up, but only on the top. So we need to definitely blend this some more and we'll be well on our way. Okay, so that was about another minute or so of blending. Scrape out the blender head here. And that's starting to look really nice. It's definitely still really quite warm though. So I'm gonna leave this for about 15 minutes to keep on cooling. So it's been another 15 minutes and this has thickened up really nicely and is quite cool. Just feels sort of barely warm. So we are ready for our cool down ingredients and popping it in our container. So first things first, we've got our essential oil. So this is a really lovely foresty blend. So you'll need 10 drops of spruce essential oil and this is black spruce, but you can use white as well. 20 drops of fir balsam, three drops of oak moss absolute and four drops of cardamom. And now for a preservative. So in here I have half a gram of liquid germal plus. And so what I'm gonna do is put a little bit of the lotion in with the preservative, stir that, and then blend that in with the rest of it. And that is just to make sure that we pick up as much of the preservative as possible out of this little bowl. I find that when I pour the preservative directly into the lotion, the chances of me using too much are fairly high. So I prefer to pre-measure it into a smaller container where I can remove some if need be easily and then incorporate it this way. And that greatly reduces the chance of accidentally having 50% more preservative than you wanted because as you could see, there really wasn't much in that container at all. All right, now we're just gonna package this up. So I've got this great little plastic tub. Um, this is from Ivan over at Yellow Bee. And so yeah, these are basically the lush tubs, but uh, white. And so this is a 100 gram one. Lovely, get a little, little try there. And it feels, oh goodness, it feels divine. That Penstia powder stuff is absolutely magical. Uh, wow, oh, that feels so good and it smells amazing. All right. There you go. You just made a beautiful forest facial lotion. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and check the description box below for the full written recipe with all the amounts in both metric and imperial and the link to this recipe on my blog, which is where I've written out all the instructions. And there's also links to all of the ingredients and information about substitutions. See you next time.